Qualcomm. We talked a little bit about Qualcomm's advancements at the edge for AI, but what about their mega plans to become the next big processor provider to laptops? Up to now, they did not have a Dell SKU. And we all know, I'm pretty sure that Dell like, kind of leads the market in some places in this space. So having Dell would be kind of important. And Sorry, did you just prompt me? Yeah, sorry, that was you, buddy. It's time to Sorry, start. my uh, my oh. audio clipped for a second. I've got oh, my uh, dog. dog. Is that Ernie? Is that what, Bert? That's What's Pearl. That? I don't know what's going on, but I'm call, uh, I'm to call not very Bert. happy about this. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, audience. I'm trying to figure out if somebody's trying to break in or just my dog being a uh, a pain. It in is the downtown Austin, so be careful, Pat. Yeah, so um, I, I view this laptop as a pipe cleaner for the the big dog that's going to be coming out. Uh, uh, afterwards, the uh, Qualcomm or Ryan, right? It, it, you know, Qualcomm and Dell, I believe, want the Orion platform to drive a ton of volume. Uh, it is very differentiated versus anything that Qualcomm has brought out, right? It has the, the Nuvia based core, uh, has some, and I'm hearing, you know, some serious uh, AI features in it. So, I view this as a pipe cleaner uh, to, 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 to get this through. And some of the questions that I had, um, you know, it was interesting. I was trying to find out how to buy this thing. I couldn't find how to buy this platform. And when I go to the Dell, uh, the Dell.com site, right, you get to choose from Intel and AMD uh, processors. I didn't see a Qualcomm processor anywhere. Maybe that's the sign that it's sold out. I have, uh, I have no... I have no earthly idea, and I couldn't find it on the internet to to buy it uh, here in, in in the U.S. I do think do think, and I do know that this is real. Uh, and for Dell to do something uh, non Intel is is always amazing to me. Uh, they've used AMD for a, f a few years, but interestingly enough, Qualcomm at Dell isn't a hundred percent new. Uh, Dell had a SKU during the Windows 8 days that had a Qualcomm-based processor in it. Uh, believe it or not, there were three vendors that had uh, ARM-based SOCs for Windows 8. TI, uh, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA. Okay, little fun fact for you. Many years ago, but uh, anyways, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, the folks at Dell working with the folks at Qualcomm and their channel partners will figure this out because I think it's very important. I, I will note too that uh, uh, this uh, SKU is at a very, very competitive uh, price at, uh, gosh, I think it's $799. Yeah, I'm not in front of it, but uh, Pat, Look. Oh, sorry. Four ninety nine. Excuse me. Yeah. So look. Uh, like I was saying. No. Um, the trifecta, being AMD, Intel, and now Qualcomm, makes this whole market a whole lot more interesting. Let's be very clear. Qualcomm. It's very early days in terms of market share, but we all know that it starts with design wins. We've heard. Anyone that's followed their automotive story knows that the revenue versus the design win portfolio, it, it tends to have a vast differentiation or delta. And then suddenly that catches up as you go from design wins to building SKUs to shipping product. And Qualcomm, with its uh, acquisition of Nuvia, made a huge bet, one that's created an ongoing legal battle with ARM, uh, one that's probably made our friends at Apple just a little bit nervous because we all know that the Nuvia platform was really designed to be the first PC to really attack that sort of Apple experience. Um, right now, that's really not what we're getting at this moment from Qualcomm. What we're getting right now from Qualcomm is signal of intent. Qualcomm took its sort of existing capabilities to build mobile SOCs, uh, especially for the smartphone, and then developed them uh, a, a series of, of systems that could be utilized in lightweight, low power, uh, efficient um, uh, uh, mobile devices. And so now what we basically got is a nice, solid race uh, 
towards the next year or two when that new via technology starts to get embedded. Uh, I think codename Orion starts to get embedded into the new devices, Pat. So getting Dell on board, Dell, Microsoft, HP, uh, L, uh, not LG. Do they have LG? They got Samsung. They've got Huawei. Uh, Huawei and they have Lenovo. So there's a number of different SKUs now. That SKU is going to be about expanding designs, moving up and down stream. I think the real opportunity for them is going to be the premium tier with the new product. That's going to be the exciting space. But nevertheless, it's never a bad idea to say, dude, you're getting a Dell with a Qualcomm chip in it. 